I had a dream some years ago. Maybe I should call it a supernatural experience. I think it is very supernatural. Um, I believe I was in a very dark area. And do you know those things at the airport where you can step on and they will move you forward? I don't know exactly what to call it. Yeah, I don't know what it is called. Some type of conveyor belt. Something you can step on and it can move you forward. So in this dream, which I believe it was a supernatural experience, I was on this conveyor belt thing and I was being moved forward even though whether I wanted to or not. And in front of me, I believe I was at a far away distance in front of me I don't know who that demon is, but I saw a demon on, can I say a platform or can I say like a chair, some type of, you know, I want to say throne but uh i think the demon was seated up with his hand i forget how his hand was placed on its chin like some type of like uh, i believe it was trying to intimidate me and i was being moved forward and that demon was staring right at me and I was getting closer and closer. And the closer I got, the larger that demon became, which I believe that demon was already very large. But when I was at a distance, I guess the demon didn't seem very large so the closer i became the closer i got to that demon like the larger it became and if i had to guess the height which i probably should not guess the height but so much taller than me i would say <laughs> larger than 20 feet larger than probably yes i think larger than 20 larger than 30 maybe toward 40 or 50 feet tall maybe larger than that and um somehow i was able to get myself out of that experience and you may say, Kevin, um, why are you telling me this? Now, I don't know who that demon is. I guess it have to be at some type of, I don't want to say very high ranking, I don't know. But for it to be seated at that platform, or whatever you want to call that, I believe it has some type of position. Maybe not a low-ranking position. I have no idea. Now, this happened some years ago. I think around the time when I was not at the level I am on now. And uh, 
probably since then, I don't know if I want to say worse things has happened, but uh, I would say strange things has happened. When you live for Jesus Christ, <laughs> you are going to be attacked by the demonic. I believe that supernatural experience really, I don't know what word to use. I believe that experience is more evidence that we are in a spiritual war. Now, I don't know exactly why I had that experience. I don't know if, <laughs> like, I don't get the point of why I was there. I don't know. But if you think that you can teach people the word of God, if you think you can pray for people and fast to help them, if you think you can do all those things and not get demonic, I guess I can say payback, I think you are delusional. But I am not saying this to discourage you. I am still alive now. And let me tell you, um, I have had quite a bit of bad supernatural experiences, but I am still alive. I am not dead. Um, even in, I guess, everyday life, in average life, can I say average life? There were times where I could have died, but I am still here. We are in a spiritual war, but you don't have to be afraid to live for Jesus Christ. Will demons try to attack you? I believe yes. Will they use people to do this and that to you? Probably yes. But why are we really on this earth to only enjoy ourselves and have a wonderful life? No. We are here to fight. We are here to help people, or should I say, to win souls for Jesus Christ. So, I believe Satan is trying to win souls, and I believe Jesus Christ is trying to win souls. So if you are trying to, I guess I can say, steal souls from demons and Satan, what do you think is going to happen? Do you think they are going to leave you alone because you think of yourself as a nice person? No. I have ran into witches, maybe not a lot, some. I have ran into riches. I have ran into vulgar people. I have ran into, you know, I had and still have bad dreams of this and that happening. I have seen some things, but I can't complain. Even though my sleep gets interrupted by demonic stuff, even though some people may treat me in a particular way, even though some bad things may happen to my life, I can't complain because God has really blessed my life. Am I telling you I am a millionaire? No. Am I telling you I eat steak and I don't know too much about <laughs> nice food? 
Am I telling you I eat fancy food every day? No. God takes care of my needs. I am fairly healthy, as far as I know. Um, you know, I'm not in starvation. Like, I don't have to steal and do wrong to get some things I need. I am blessed. I am not rich, but I am blessed. So even though I go through particular bad things and have these bad dreams and these demons and all this stuff like that, even though I go through all of that, I am still grateful to God for all that he has done and is doing in my life now. Living for Jesus Christ is worth it so much. It is worth it. I am telling you, it is worth it. Yes, you may get spiritually attacked, but so what? We are here to live for him. We are here to fight for him. I believe it is an honor to suffer for the sake of Jesus Christ, to fight for the sake of Jesus Christ. If some bad things may happen in your life, because of Jesus Christ, so be it, right? So be it. It may hurt, you may cry, you may get angry, but so be it. So be it. Because if you live for Jesus Christ, I guarantee you, you will benefit more than the bad that will happen to you. I can't complain. I cannot complain. But when you live for Jesus Christ, prepare yourself. Every day is not going to be a happy day. Every day is not going to be a joyful day. You know, you may have to wake up and get down on your knees and pray against the demonic and this and that. So be it. So be it. You know, God may place difficult people in your path for you to affect in a particular way or to help them to mature or to grow up or whatever else. Teach them about uh, what love is. And you may have to suffer a bit, but so be it, right? So be it. What else do you have to do in this temporary world? What else do you have to do? Well, Kevin, I want to work every day and buy nice cars and nice clothes and have a happy life. You can't only do that because we are not really here for those things. You working so hard to give everything up when you die. It makes no sense to me. <laughs> Especially when you don't know when you are going to die. Like, why should I work so hard to have so much? Then when I die, I can't take it with me. That is, it's like I'm, I did those things in vain. So with me, as far as I know, I am trying to focus more on what I can take with me when I die. And I believe the things we do in Christ, we can take it with us when we die. So let me focus on those things more than the carnal. I hope this makes sense. Yes, bad things will come to you, 
when you are a Christian, but the good will outweigh the bad. Even in my life, yeah, bad things here and there, blah, 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 but the good always outweigh the bad. Let me stop here. May God bless us.